big decisions are being made by people right now. What would your advice be to someone who is thinking of maybe close to buying somewhere in London? Should they go ahead? Well, <laughs> I'm not going to give people advice on their uh, property, uh, their property purchases. But what I would say is we are facing very, very difficult economic times at the moment. That is why the government has acted, particularly on areas like energy bills, making sure taxes are competitive and helping the economy keep moving at what is a very, very difficult time globally, following Putin's appalling war in Ukraine. But if someone is considering doing that now, should they hold off for a moment because of the uncertainty? What would your advice be? I'm not going to come on your programme and give people financial advice. Well, well, my job, with respect, why not? My job, <laughs> my job is being Prime Minister. And in that job, what I want to do is, first of all, make sure we're supporting people through this difficult winter. People were anticipating fuel bills of up to £6,000. We've taken decisive action so that from this weekend, with our energy price guarantee, a typical household will be paying no more than £2,500. Why would you not help advise people on what to do? You have told people they're going to be retaining a lot more of their money. They're entitled to get guidance from you about what they should do, whether they should hold off buying or not. Well, we have made, we have reduced stamp duty uh, in our budget to help people uh, be able to afford houses and to get on the housing ladder. That was one of the tax measures we put forward. Do you think that would be a compensation for the increase in interest rates that's coming down the line? Will stamp duty counteract that? What I think is important to know about interest rates is that they are set independently by the Bank of England, and they have been done since 1997. It's very important politicians don't get involved in those decisions. But what we have seen as a result of Putin's war in Ukraine is we have seen interest rates rising globally. Someone getting a new mortgage, fixed two rate more, uh, to, uh, a two-year mortgage from Nationwide for 500,000 is going to be paying interest of 5.5% now compared with 2.5% before. That's £880 more each month. How are they going to cope with that? Well, as I've said, interest rates are a matter for the Bank of England and they're not something the government gets but what do you feel about that when that's a direct result what, what? of the turmoil that has followed your budget? Well, I don't agree with that statement because we are facing a difficult global economic situation. Interest rates are going up around the world. On the basic politics of this, why did you choose to help bankers rather than, for instance, look at raising universal credit? We've tried to help everybody. So we've helped everybody through the energy price guarantee. That was the biggest part of the package. We've reversed the national insurance increase. We've kept corporation tax low. We've helped on stamp duty. And we have also made it easier for the city to be successful. And I don't apologise for saying I want a successful city of London, because what we need is a competitive city of London that's attracting investment into our country and that's investing right across the United Kingdom including into parts of the country that are left behind.